So we kind of want controls over the uh, thickness for our, our uh, for our curves here and our main curve individually. So we kind of need to sort of do that, uh, like create a thickness over here and then create a thickness over here. Let's first just type put a sweep, just by default. Let's put it in there and then let's put a line in the second input. So this is going to be way too extreme because uh, this is being driven by a P scale value. So if we say attribute create and we just type P scale, so we're just going to overwrite P scale here. And let's say we make this 0.1. You can see the thickness will be driven by our P scale. So we kind of want to start maybe doing that randomly, uh, or not randomly, but we want to do it differently like for our uh, copies as for our main branch. And what we also kind of want is sort of maybe some control over the thickness. So I want to challenge you first to try this for yourself. And then I am going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to give you a little moment to try it for yourself first. All right, so let's remove this P scale here. And let's put down an attribute fob and let's do it for our main curve first. Mer not merge that one in let's dive in there and again we have attributes we can use so we just we still have the curve view attribute right so let's just use the curve view attribute let's go in there and let's bind our curve view attribute bind and let's maximize the view and then bind export and type p scale because again p scale is an attribute that's universally recognized by a lot of nodes including the sweep. So let's put the curve. So not bind, want to be called curve view. I'm sorry. Let's put a ramp parameter in between. And again, let's make it spline ramp. Go up a level. Let's look at our view. And Let's look at our, so let's make a ramp. Let's increase our ramp a little bit. So it's a little bit extreme. So we probably want to put a multiplier in between here. So we want to multiply the final output. Again, you want to put the multiply after because you want always want to have inputs which are zero to one. And of course, if you multiply over here, then this input won't be zero to one. So kind of want to do that after the afterwards always. So this would be a multiplier. And now we could sort of say that, okay, we want to sort of ramp it out a little bit. By the way, you can, if you select your keys and then right click, you can set the interpolation, for example, to BG. So we could maybe put it like this. So you can see it's now it's a little bit thinner in the bottom and in the top. You can see it's sort of acting weird, but that's something we're gonna do in a little, we're gonna fix in a little bit. So let's do the same for our small branches. All right, so let's call this, I guess, P scale. Let's put this in here. Let's merge this back in. Maybe it already looks pretty good, but maybe we want this to be a little bit thinner. We don't want them to, want them to sort of have a little bit thicker endings because that's sort of what the actual stuff also looks like. Not sure if you can see it that well here, but they don't completely taper off. All right, so let's play. And we now have some seaweed. Okay, maybe we want to add some normals to this. So we're normal, it will add vertex normals. Doesn't really matter, I guess, in this case. So we do have this problem where they're sort of, you can see sometimes they're sort of suddenly flipping over. So we kind of need to fix that. 